There's a significant contrast between sending humans to Mars and establishing colonies beyond our solar system. Scientists and engineers at NASA are currently exploring methods for potentially inhabiting Mars one day. Often referred to as the Red Planet, Mars presents unique challenges compared to Earth. Addressing these differences will necessitate the development of new equipment and technology, which is currently underway. NASA relies on data gathered by rovers and satellites to gain insight into Mars's distinct characteristics. Notably, Mars has only one-third of the gravity experienced on Earth due to its lower mass, which is just one-tenth of Earth's mass. And if you think that's the significant challenge, well, that's just scratching the surface. Establishing a human colony on Mars. Elon Musk's ambitious plan to establish a human colony on Mars may seem like a tale from fiction, but it's a vision he's actively pursuing. As the visionary behind Tesla and SpaceX, Musk aims to build a thriving city on Mars by 2050, capable of sustaining one million people independently of Earth. Initially met with skepticism, Musk's Mars colonization plan gained credibility when NASA partnered with SpaceX on the mission. Over the years, SpaceX has made significant strides in rocket technology, bringing Musk's vision closer to reality. Drawing from Tesla's expertise in electric autopilot cars, SpaceX incorporates similar technology into its rockets, enabling efficient space travel with minimal fuel consumption. A specially designed Starship is in development to transport humans to Mars, a staggering 62 million kilometers away from Earth. Musk intends to leverage Tesla's battery technology to power the journey ensuring efficient use of resources. Scheduled for launch by March, the Starship aims to ferry humans to the Red Planet. Yet the feasibility of establishing a human colony on Mars raises profound questions. With its harsh environment devoid of oxygen, food, and adequate shelter, Mars presents formidable challenges for human habitation. Despite these obstacles, both Musk and NASA are driven by the prospect of exploration and the potential for scientific advancement. While the road ahead is fraught with challenges, the collective ambition to expand humanity's reach beyond Earth fuels their determination to turn this audacious vision into reality. Exploring the urgency of finding a second home. Amidst mounting concerns about Earth's deteriorating condition, the quest for an alternative habitat gains significance. Despite centuries of research aimed at understanding and preserving our planet, the outcomes have been disheartening. Scientists attribute Earth's predicament to the widespread use of fossil fuels, leading to a steady rise in temperatures. This trajectory suggests a bleak future, with projections indicating uninhabitable conditions within a century. Evidence indicates that Earth's average temperature is increasing by 0.16 degrees Celsius every decade, accelerating the melting of glaciers and exacerbating the frequency of natural disasters like floods, cyclones and tsunamis. Pollution further compounds these issues, depleting the protective ozone layer and exposing inhabitants to harmful solar radiation. With Earth's viability in question, the search for an alternative becomes imperative. Among the planets in our solar system, Mars emerges as a prime candidate. While Venus, another neighboring planet, is closer to Earth, its extreme heat renders it uninhabitable. In contrast, Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun, offers a more viable option despite its harsh conditions. Mars presents formidable challenges, including freezing temperatures and a lack of essential resources such as oxygen and water. However, these obstacles have not deterred exploration efforts. Instead, they have fueled a collective determination to establish a human presence on the Red Planet. In the face of Earth's uncertain future, Mars represents humanity's best hope for survival and continued progress. While daunting, the endeavor to colonize Mars embodies humanity's resilience and capacity for innovation in the face of adversity. NASA and Elon Musk's plans. Despite the inhospitable conditions on Mars, both NASA and Elon Musk have devised comprehensive plans to ensure human survival on the Red Planet. According to Musk's timeline, a select group of individuals will embark on a journey to Mars as early as 2026. Equipped with essential supplies including food, oxygen, and pressurized suits, these pioneers will be prepared to sustain themselves for a minimum of two years. However, before human arrival, the construction of protective shelters on Mars is paramount to mitigate the risks posed by the planet's harsh environment, particularly its notorious dust storms. 
These shelters will be crafted from locally available Martian soil. But the question arises, who will undertake the construction in the absence of human presence? The solution lies in deploying advanced robotic systems. Preceding the arrival of humans, specially designed artificial intelligence-driven robots will be dispatched to Mars. These versatile robots will possess the capability to operate autonomously across diverse terrains and, if necessary, collaborate with each other. Equipped with an array of tools including cameras, sensors, excavators for soil extraction, and 3D printer units, these solar-powered robots will execute tasks with remarkable efficiency. Their primary objective will be to locate suitable soil compositions using advanced sensors. Once identified, these robots will commence the construction of protective shelters using the available resources, laying the groundwork for human habitation on Mars. The base unit will be established at the location with the most suitable soil composition. Within the robotic team, certain units will be tasked with excavation, while smaller robots will be assigned to collect and transport the soil to the refining unit. Once refined, the soil will be conveyed to the 3D printer unit, where it will be systematically crafted into structural components. This ongoing process, spanning several months, can be remotely monitored from Earth. Upon completion of the shelter, the subsequent phase of robotic operations will commence. Human Settlement on Mars As the first group of humans sets foot on Mars, their arrival marks a pivotal moment in the history of space exploration. To ensure their safety and comfort, meticulous preparations have been made including the deployment of a team of advanced robots already stationed on the Martian surface. These robots serve as indispensable assistants, greeting the incoming humans and facilitating the transfer of their belongings from the landing site to the designated base unit. Within the protective confines of the base unit's shelter, specially designed smaller units await placement. These units, seamlessly integrated into the base's infrastructure, are equipped to maintain a stable internal environment despite Mars's harsh atmospheric conditions. With atmospheric pressure significantly lower on Mars compared to Earth, these pressurized cabins become vital sanctuaries, akin to miniature habitats, providing a semblance of Earth-like conditions. Through the creation of artificial pressure within these units, humans are afforded a livable environment conducive to their long-term stay. Moreover, these pressurized cabins are interconnected, fostering a sense of community among the inhabitants while facilitating ease of movement within the base. Ensuring a sustainable energy supply is paramount, and, to this end, solar-powered robots diligently oversee the installation and maintenance of solar panels, harnessing the abundant Martian sunlight to generate electricity for the base's operations. Thus, through a harmonious blend of human ingenuity and robotic assistance, the foundation is laid for a pioneering human presence on the Red Planet. Establishing Greenhouses and Oxygen Production In the endeavor to establish sustainable living conditions on Mars, the necessity for mobility outside the base unit prompts the development of specialized vehicles equipped to maintain pressure integrity upon exiting and re-entering. These vehicles serve a crucial role in ensuring the safety of human exploration by securely sealing cabin doors to prevent pressure leaks during excursions. With the foundational infrastructure in place, attention turns to the construction of a greenhouse facility. This vital structure represents a pivotal step towards self-sufficiency on Mars, offering the potential for vegetation cultivation within the harsh Martian environment. Scientific research suggests that only certain resilient crops such as potatoes and beans, are viable candidates for cultivation in the Martian soil. As these plants thrive within the greenhouse, they not only yield edible produce, but also play a pivotal role in oxygen generation. Through the process of photosynthesis, plants release oxygen as a byproduct, thereby supplementing the limited atmospheric oxygen available to human inhabitants. However, to meet the oxygen demands of the growing population, additional measures must be implemented. Inspiration is drawn from previous experiments conducted by the Mars rover, which demonstrated the feasibility of oxygen production from the Martian atmosphere. Utilizing solar-powered devices, carbon dioxide is extracted from the Martian air and subjected to heat and electrical current, facilitating the separation of oxygen molecules. This innovative process enables the small human team to generate oxygen autonomously, enhancing their self-sufficiency on the Red Planet. Moreover, provisions are made for water procurement, 
leveraging the presence of frozen water beneath the Martian surface. In the event of inaccessible frozen water, techniques for melting ice and synthesizing water will be employed, ensuring a sustainable water supply for essential needs. Though resources may be limited, the collective ingenuity and resilience of the human pioneers ensure their ability to adapt and thrive amidst the challenges of Martian colonization. Exploring Solutions for Sustainable Human Habitation While the prospect of human survival on Mars without reliance on Earth is promising, questions linger regarding the quality of life and long-term sustainability of Martian colonization efforts. The notion of confined living within pressurized cabins raises concerns about the necessity and purpose of such endeavors. However, scientists envision a transformative solution through the concept of terraforming, aimed at altering Mars's atmosphere to render it hospitable for human habitation. The key to this ambitious undertaking lies in increasing Mars's temperature, thereby revitalizing its environment and potentially fostering the return of life. Scientists propose various strategies to achieve this goal, including the deployment of robots to construct factories capable of generating greenhouse gases continuously throughout the day. This innovative approach, championed by Margarita Marinova of MIT, capitalizes on the greenhouse effect observed on Earth, where greenhouse gases trap heat and contribute to warming the atmosphere. By strategically introducing greenhouse gases into Mars's atmosphere, Scientists aim to initiate a process akin to terraforming, gradually transforming the red planet into a more habitable environment over the course of centuries. While the feasibility and ethical implications of such interventions remain subjects of ongoing debate, the prospect of a verdant, life-sustaining Mars offers a tantalizing glimpse into the future of human exploration and colonization beyond our home planet. Elon Musk has proposed an unconventional idea for terraforming Mars, suggesting the use of atomic bombs to induce the melting of Mars's ice caps and elevate its overall temperature. This radical approach aims to kick-start the process of transforming Mars into a habitable planet for human settlement. In alignment with this vision, both scientists and Musk foresee a gradual progression towards Martian colonization. In 2026, a pioneering team of scientists will embark on an exploratory mission to conduct experiments and gather crucial data. Over the span of 200 years, as Earth and Mars periodically align closely, plans are in place to progressively send larger groups of humans to the Red Planet. Initially, humans will inhabit pressurized cabins to mitigate the inhospitable Martian environment. During this period, efforts will be focused on gradually increasing Mars's temperature through a combination of technological interventions and natural processes. By 2050, it is envisioned that Mars will have undergone significant transformation with the ultimate goal of rendering it as verdant and hospitable as Earth within the next 100 to 200 years.